I was so pissed. I was, I cannot tell you how pissed I was. What's up you guys? It's Melissa and everyone and we're on vacation. Finally, after a thousand years of not being on vacation, I'm gonna show you the room really, really quick so this vlog isn't a thousand years long. We have a TV. We have two beds in this first room when you walk in. Ta-da. Quit that mess. <laughs> There's a closet that I don't know who can get to that's, if you're not skinny as I am, you're not ever gonna get back there. I can get back there. You can. I'm, I'm sure it's good. We actually have a full kitchen, which I had no idea. I thought we were gonna have a mini fridge and like a microwave. Did you know we were gonna have? I didn't either. So, full kitchen. We got the stuff. We got nothing in the fridge yet, though. And then, this way, there's a dummy, a dummy in the mirror. <laughs> Dummy. They're trying to do it big with these fake marble countertops. We do have a hair dryer, so that's cool. And then a small little bathroom and shower, which I don't know if my husband's going to fit in there because that looks pretty short. But we'll see. Here's another closet with an iron, ironing board. We're not about that life. We're not that I can smell that heat. Oh, um, and then if you turn over here, don't feel my feet, just you turn over here, there is the Murphy bed, so there is bed number three. That's mine. But I'm too lazy to take the whole thing out right now. And then we also have a couch, and that pulls out into a bed too, which will, you can probably just sleep on it like that, right? Yeah. And then we just have a little table area to eat over here and another TV in this room. Summer and Leah said that they are going to take over this room. And it's equipped with heating and air. Heating and air. And the balcony. And here's our view. Oh, we got tunes. You hear it? Hey. What's up you guys i'm checking in we what time is it y'all somebody tell me there's no clock in here whatsoever tell me the time leah 6 42 we went down to the indoor pool and the slides and the little kids section that pool was warm but it wasn't that warm okay and so i got out of the pool went to the hot tub the hot tub was not even warmer than the pool i was freezing but it was fun the kids had fun right kids no no yeah, yeah. Uh, so now we're going to look stuff up and see who delivers here to this hotel because we're hungry. We can get pizza or we can get something else if we find something else. So that is what we are doing now. Um, Wesley and Molly are going to go down to the beach and look for shells before it gets dark. And the rest of us are going to chill here and order food. All right, y'all. I'm chilling on the balcony. People can hear me down there. So they're probably like, girl, who are you talking to? Um, but I'm in the room by myself. Summer and Leah went to get ice. They're safe. They're together. I have talked to them about sex trafficking and people picking them up. And they know how to defend themselves. And, I mean, I don't care if an old lady falls out on the floor and is having a heart attack. I told them, keep going and say, not today, sis. None of that. So, that's what they're doing. Molly and Wesley are right down here. I'm going to just turn around. They're down there on the beach. Right there. Getting shells while it's still daylight, like I just said a second ago. So I am chilling in the room and I'm about to shut this door because I actually have the heat on in here on 73 because it's freaking cold, you guys. Like, it is cold. And this lock is playing me, but that's what they're doing. I'm chilling by myself. I'm still wearing this bathing suit cover, but look. Boom, how about these pants? Bam. I'm telling y'all, it's cold up in here. A girl, I do not like the cold weather. So anyways, that's what I'm doing now. I will come back and let you guys know what I found to eat. Besides, we did have all these snacks. So, I mean, we ain't been starving, but we need... Mama needs some meat. Do you know what I'm saying? I gotta have some meat. Okay, it is nighttime, and I demolished that thing I showed you. That pasta. Here's what's left of the cheese pizza. 
and what's left of this one. So we ate a lot. You're not getting another one of these. What did you do? Spill something? Yeah. On accident. These are delicious. I'm going to take it to my bed and eat them. Here's the dipping sauce. I'm about to hide them from the kids and eat them. <laughs> what's going on in this part of the house? Oh my gosh, what's going on with this head? Dress. Why is your room so much warmer than mine? Because I up. How much? Uh, Dang. No, yeah, 76. 76. Okay, so here's what it looks like with all these beds down. Um, what are y'all watching? We have not We watched the hell, y'all. Transylvania, but now it's a commercial. We're eating snacks. A second piece. Second piece? You go, girl. You go, girl. This is a video, not a picture, you know. Wesley's reading his book. Mm -hmm. Chillax and reading his book. This is his Saturday off. He, like, hardly ever gets a Saturday off, so. We're bracelet buddies, too, by the way. When our bracelets combine, what happens? The pool is cold as <laughs> That's what happens. Right. That mug was not too, too warm. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning at Summer says 941, Leah says 942, whatever. Oh, it's it nine changed. it's nine forty something. Um, and we're all up. Wesley has already been to the gym mm -hmm. and then when he got back, Molly was like, Oh, I want to see the gym because she never gets to go to the actual gym to see what it looks like because you have to be um eleven. Twelve? Yeah, you gotta be twelve to go to the gym where we go. So she's never seen the gym and she's always wanting to see it. So they went down there to look at that. Summer and Leah are just hanging out. The person next to us is freaking jamming or something, aren't they? <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to walk out on the balcony and hear the waves. We're getting ready. We're going to pack up here in a few minutes. I've already got my shower, and that's why my hair looks like this, because it dried like this. <clears throat> and then they're going to get... Mm -hmm. They're going to get their showers or get ready for the day. I think what we're going to do is we might do a helicopter ride. Um, and if we do, I will have footage from the ground and from inside the helicopter. Um, and then we're going to go to the Tanger Outlet. It's like an outdoor mall situation if you're not familiar. So that's what we're doing. I'm about to go on, out on this balcony and listen. I was going to listen to the waves. I'm not now because the person beside me's radio is so freaking loud. I can't even hear myself in here. <laughs> hey, you guys. What's up? I know I'm in a different place than what you expected to see me because when I talked to you last, I said that we were going on a helicopter ride and going shopping and everything. Um, but now I'm in my car. I am, or I have been back home. I got home around 2 p.m. It is now 7.30 p.m. Um, and I'm just now getting around to filming again. But, okay, so I'm also eating a banana split right now because I need to get out of the house and just, anyway, so we were in the hotel this morning. Summer and Leah decided to go downstairs to the vending machine and get snacks because they didn't want the snacks that we had. They had their own money. They wanted to go to the vending machine. So that's what they did. They came back. Now they did the same thing the night before. Well, anyways, they came back and you know, they, they had nothing for Molly. Um, but Molly wanted something like same as last night, but they were like, no, we bought these with our own money and we're, you know, these are ours. We're eating them. You're not getting any. So I said, fine, if that's how you're going to be, that's not okay. Then put all of the snacks on the table. Lay them right here in front of my face where I can see them and just go on about your business because ain't nobody having snacks if this is how you're going to act and you can't share with your little sister. I mean, I wasn't saying give her the whole thing or nothing. Like, they were eating cookies, crackers, some kind of weenies, uh, funyuns. Like, they had all kinds of stuff. And they were like, uh-uh, we're not sharing. So I was like, fine, if you can't share, put them all on the table. Nobody's getting any, right? So after having to tell them many times to put them on the table, Summer still didn't put hers on the table. And it just escalated from there. So Summer just starts raising her voice. Why? Why do I have to do that? Why? And I'm just like, do it and be quiet. She cannot be quiet, y'all. Absolutely no. She kept running her mouth and running her mouth and I was just kept 
getting hotter and freaking hotter. And she says, this ain't fair, blah, 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 hollering. And I was like, Summer, I said, just to be quiet, just be quiet. And she would not do it. She could not do it. And I lost my shit. I went in there and I yelled back at her and I said, give me your phone, which she would not do. I said, give me the phone. She finally gave it to me. And then she screamed bloody murder. Ah! I don't even remember what she said because that she screamed so loud that I know everyone above, below, and on four sides of us, like four hotel rooms down, could hear her scream bloody murder. I was so pissed. I was, I cannot tell you how pissed I was. That this child of mine who I do everything for beyond what I have to do as a parent... She is a brat, is screaming in my face and jumping up at me. I said, fuck it. We ain't doing shit. I'm over it. We had to leave the beach because I, I can't take just part of the family to ride the helicopter and to go to the mall and leave her somewhere. We're at the beach, not to mention we're at Myrtle Beach, which... It, they even have billboard signs at this place that say human trafficking, sex trafficking happens here. Like, I'm serious. This is not like a good place that you want to leave your kids. You want to leave them in the car. You want to do... No, you, you can't. So, I was like, pack your shit. This was at 1030 this morning. So, I said, get in the car. Just everybody get your stuff. We already had to be out at 11 anyways. But, so, we were already packing up. I was already packing up everything. Cleaning up the hotel room. I said, just go. Everybody get their bags. Just get in the car. So we got in the car and I took my ass straight to the house. I said, we ain't stopping for food. I don't give a shit who's hungry or nothing. You ain't getting your snacks. Nothing. Get in the car. And that's what we did. And we got home at 2 o'clock today. So I got there and I ate a bite. And um, the kids did too. They found, you know, whatever at home to eat. Um, and then I took a nap. And then I said, you know what? I got to get out of the house because I'm not in a good space right now. So I left the house and I went and got food for all of us. And I got a banana split at Dairy Queen, which I'm going to have to run back up there really quick because she forgot the main ingredient, which I paid for already, the wet walnuts. And that's what makes the banana split delicious. So that's how my Sunday is going, friends. This is real mom life. Not this shit you see on YouTube where people's little four and five-year-olds are trotting around and playing. Okay? If you want to see a real mom life video, here's your real mom life video. This is what you have to look forward to, okay? And they're not rainbow and sunshine, so they're not going to be freaking cute and little and sweet forever. So, you know, it is what it is. So, if you have a teenager and you're going through some shit too... I'm right there with you, okay? I don't know how long this vlog is, but I sincerely, absolutely, 100% apologize that this vlog did not turn out how you expected or how I wanted it to. I wanted the helicopter footage. I wanted this to be a beautiful vacation vlog. That's not what it is, but it's a real life vlog, and this is what really happened today, and um, I just, I don't do things for my kids when they're ugly. I'm sorry. I just don't. It's just, I don't know. All right, I love you guys absolutely 100%. Thank you so very much for watching this vlog. You guys mean the absolute freaking world to me, and I have gotten so much love on my videos lately. Even if you're not subscribed and you're just someone that watches the videos, I appreciate you 100% also. I'm going to get my nuts, okay? And I will talk to you guys in my next vlog or cleaning video or whenever.